Hey Equestrian Gamers, Cooley here and welcome back to another video. Today we are checking out the summer event on Wild Horse Island. I'm so excited to show you guys everything that you can catch or you can craft or even to obtain. There is a lot. Alright, so let's have a look around first. So we're going to head over to Larry. I'm currently on mainland and when you come to the center of mainland here there has been a huge change. So you'll notice that all the leaderboards that used to surround the fountain are now gone. You can now find those in the socials. So up here you can click on this one and you can click on leaderboards. Now there's nothing on mine because I'm on a private server but they will come up in public servers and show you everyone that's on top of the leaderboard. Now let's go, oh my gosh those signs are so cute. We're going to start off at Larry's. Now Larry is on all the islands except for RP. So if you go to Larry and click on buy there is a event shop with lots of goodies all of these items i will be showing you guys so you can have a closer look at what they look like before you decide to either spend robux or spend summer tokens on now some of these items you don't necessarily have to purchase with tokens you can actually obtain them from doing new quests so the items that you can get different colors of and not have to pay for is the water wings which is like floaties for your horse's legs. You can get these summer shades in all different colors. These are really really cool. You can also grab the sun hat which is actually a robux item so the sun hat you can get from quest as well which is super duper exciting and you can get different colored life rings as well and let's follow these absolutely gorgeous signs that will point you towards the beach here we go oh aren't they so cute oh you can see something happening over there so this is new too there's actually a tunnel through this hill it's actually part of the new race as well. Here we go. Oh, there is so much happening here. So you can see this is actually a huge slide, which is really, really cool. I absolutely love jumping off this point on this mountain. So the slide is a really, really fun touch. We have a bonfire where you and your friends can all chill out. There's a huge dance floor which is very very handy because there are new default Roblox dancers have been added and also you can get your horses to dance which is super super duper cute really really cute and your horses actually stay in place when they're dancing so like you can walk away and watch your horse dance. Oh it looks really 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 cool. Where's my horse? Are you stuck? Come over here. Come on. Good boy. This looks awesome at night time. Hello. Whoop. Come on. So we've got to go play on the slide first. Of course. It's huge. Look at it. It's massive. So you can actually ride up it this way. I wonder if I usually fall off when I get to the top. So we shall see. Will I survive this time? Oh, we're getting there slowly. Nope, I fell. Oh no, oh no, no! <laughs> Bye, horse. <laughs> I didn't think I'd fall all the way back down again. No, we can do this. Okay, I think if we jump when we're near the top, I think we'll make it. Come on, we can do this. We can do this. Instead of running all the way around. Jump, jump! Oh, nearly. <gasps> I'm not gonna fall, I'm not gonna fall. Let me up. I'm stuck. Oh no, we're good. Haha. <laughs> See, made it. 
So the sign is really, really cute. Slide at your own risk. Toby is not responsible for concussions or other slide related injuries. <laughs> Thank goodness. Oh my gosh. Whoa. Oh, look how far I went that time. I wonder if anyone's ever slid all the way to the beach. <gasps> okay, you guys need to try that. See if you can get a fast horse and go all the way to the sand. I need to know if it's possible. <laughs> Alrighty, let's get into the quest. So, we do have a limited time quest person here. This is Sunny the Surfer. If you talk to Sunny, you can get quests from him. Now, most of the quests you will get, which you see down here, is all evolved with coral. So, at the moment, Sunny would like four green coral and four orange and four blue. Wow, he wants a bit of everything. Now, coral can be a bit hard to get a hold of, especially if you're in a public server. But I will show you some areas where you can get them. So right here, if you can see, there we go. So you can see the coral in the water. You'll find coral in water in specific spots. So going along all of this, you'll also find them around this bridge. See, on the other side of this bridge. Another spot, oh, we might go this way actually. There is another spot up here if you want to go for, oh, is it easier? No, hang on, I know an easier way. All right, so there's coral there. Doo -doo. Coming all the way along. Sorry, not my fastest horse that I have, but he is very beautiful. So along this bridge as well, you can find coral, see? There we go. There's some coral there. And then keep on coming up this way. All the way. Here we go. So you find coral at the end of the little pier here as well. Now there are a couple of more spots. So easiest way to do it is reset to take you automatically back to the dock of the island that you are currently on. Coral spawns right here so each time you come to mainland check here. And there is another spot if we go for a nice little gallop up the beach. Very fitting for the summer event I think. Oh my gosh. This has been made over as well, this mountain. I'll show you guys. Actually, it took me ages to notice it too. But there has been some changes. There's some new trails going everywhere. Hello, horsey. Oh, and if you guys ever get the quest for mainland um, to look for Toby's grandfather, I believe it is, to do a wellness check, this is where... You, oh, thank you, paycheck. This is where you want to go. So normally that's blocked up by rocks. You need to blow the rocks up to get to his grandfather. So if you're wondering about that quest, that's where it is. So you can see there's a trail going up the mountain here. Oh, we're looking for coral, aren't we? I've got to, I've got to remember. Oh no, it's coming up. It's all good. We haven't passed it just yet. But if I look this way, there's a house up there now. So there is a trail going around and there's actually a new little house up on the mountain which I think is super cute. And this is where the other patch of coral is, right here. So between the mountain and the quest hill, so you can see those buildings, Whoop, let me zoom out a bit. That is the centre of town right there. So between these two hills, this is where you'll find some coral as well. But let's head back. I should have enough coral. Check my quest. Bring Sunny. Yep, I have four of everything. Let's see what we get. I hope it's another pair of sunglasses. The coral in the water there. But again, it can be very tricky in public service because a lot of people are after the coral. Alright, Sunny. 
about that quest. Yes. Oh, nice. So we got water wings, which is like floaties for my horse. They're neon blue. Okay, that's going to look quite cool. Thank you, Sunny. I appreciate that. All right. Now let's move on to the race. So if you come over here, oh, isn't the new photo area so cute? Look. Whoop. You can turn around. Look. Isn't that cute? Oh, it's adorable. I absolutely love this space. I absolutely love it. All right, here is the summer race. Now, you want to complete the summer race over and over and over again to get watermelon. I probably didn't pick the right horse for this. Now, watermelon slices are important. You do want to get your hands on as many as possible while you can because this is all limited time so when the timer runs out for the event so the event runs for two weeks you can't get these things again guys so do a lot of grinding and get all the items while you still can here we go it's actually oh it's not a super long race isn't the jumps so cute like look they're amazing. We have sandcastles and fruit salad. Oh my gosh. Between the coconut tree. Just the detailing put into this jump, or not jump, jumps, multiples, is absolutely amazing. They are really, really adorable. So we go through this new section. Nearly there, guys. And through the finish line. And this is what you'll receive, watermelon slice. So it is limited time. So you can feed these to your horse to increase bond. But I don't recommend that. I recommend that you use them for crafting. So a really, really awesome thing that is added is new colors that you can craft with so for an example let's go to like a halter go to color all of these ones are limited time colors that you can craft with now I have crafted a set of every single color that I will be showing you guys on horses so you know what they look like but I think it's absolutely amazing and as you can see the actual way all the colors are shown has changed. So all the oranges are together, all the yellows and greens, all the blues, purples. Oh my gosh, best section ever, pink and the red. So I think that's really cute. It looks super, super nice, that change. It's a small change, but it's an awesome one. Alrighty, we're going to head over to my island and we're going to check out some of the craftable items first. This is really, really cool. So, as you can see, I have changed the colour of my barn. This is the watermelon pink colour. You can actually use these limited time colours on your barn and your fences and rails and gates as well as the tack which is so cool so this is the watermelon pink now what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you guys the different colors on the barn as well as the tack colors at the same time starting off with the watermelon pink which is a very very cute color I absolutely love it on the barn we have watermelon green, which is super bright. Really, really love this color. It's just like, bam, in your face. <laughs> really, really cute. Even on the tack, it looks really, really nice as well. This is the coral blue, which as you can see, has a texture to it, which I think is a very, very nice change. I really do like the texture on the barn. The tack, oh, 
maybe it's a maybe for me love the color not sure about the texture on the tack this is the coral green so that nice vibrant bright green with the coral texture and the final one is the coral orange so it's like an orangey red color with the coral texture let's talk about the awesome new dyes that are limited time that you can get starting off with the robux dye this is the ocean seaside seaside no the foam Bade. So I'm really struggling with that one. It is so, so pretty. This is actually a dye that you can get on one of the event horses if you're lucky as well. But oh my gosh, it is so stunning. So it's a blue to green sort of fade. Then we have the mermaid. Oh my gosh, mermaid fade isn't that stunning it is it's got that cotton candy feel about it which i adore so this horse may become stabella maybe we shall have to see if you guys don't know the story about stabella so isabella my main horse was meant to be called star bella after a horse that um, my awesome mod when I was on Twitch named on Red Dead Online. And I wasn't thinking when I called Isabella, Isabella, it was supposed to be Stabella. <laughs> but I didn't think about it. Um, and then everyone fell in love with Isabella uh, like I did. And I just could not change her name. I couldn't do it. So I have been trying to find the perfect dye to create Starbella and I think this may be her I don't know you guys let me know down in the comments what you think now for the people who like bright colors we have the sunset fade oh my gosh look how bright that is so this is like a hot pink fading into a bright yellow Oh my gosh. If you want to turn heads, this die. This die is the one. Now, these dies, so all the dies except for the first one, are tokens. Some are tokens, which I'm going to show you guys how to get tokens in a minute. So, oh my gosh, definitely save up and grab these dies. They are spectacular. Next up, we have the coral dye, which is a really, really nice, pretty orange. I decided to stick this one and the last dye on a black Frisian to make it stand out a bit more. It's a super, super pretty shade of orange. And the final dye you can get in this event is Sunny Fade, which is a very bribant yellow. You can see that it does go from like a darker yellow to a lighter yellow in the fade and it is super duper bright all together all the dyes are absolutely amazing i was so excited when i saw that there was going to be dyes because you guys know i love collecting dyes so super duper 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 happy with being able to get dyes of course i'll keep on grinding to hopefully get some more to stick on some different horses of course because why not it's limited time so may as well while we can but let's move on to some of the items that you can get from either purchasing from larry in the event shop i showed you guys earlier or from obtaining different colors of the items from doing quests Starting off with the Robux and Quest item is the Sun Hat. 
I think it is very, very cute. The ears are poking out a bit, just a tad, but it is still super duper cute. Now, oh my gosh, this one, this one. So this is another Robux item. It is a kite. It is so cute. Hang on, let's get moving. Look at it. <laughs> Isn't that adorable? Oh my gosh. I had no idea that this existed. And it just follows you around. It is so cute. It's not something that... I would have expected at all. I think it's really, really, really cute, especially when the horse is all doled up in summer tack and summer gear with a kite chasing it around. I don't know. I I think it's a brilliant, brilliant item. These are the sunnies I was telling you guys about. Aren't they cool? So I got these from doing a quest, so they're completely red, which is awesome. You can get them in lots of different colours. Oh my gosh, I think they're super cool. Very, very fitting to the summer event. Then we have the floaties. They're called, oh, what are they called? They're not called floaties. They are called water wings on the horse's legs. See, on the front legs. And then the life ring, which pretty much sits on the horse's butt. <laughs> so, plenty of items to keep your horse safe in the water. These are actually the ones that we just got from the quest as well. So, they are neon blue. And, of course, I got a purple one from doing quests. So, I'm very, very happy with the purple one, of course. And then we have the beach ball, which your horse holds in its mouth. Which is super cute. Look at that. Isn't that so cute? Oh my god. Even my voice is going higher because it's so cute. And then the starfish that goes on to the tail. So the tail starfish. Oh my gosh. There are so many cute items to get. So, so many. But let's have a look at the tack you can get as well. Alright, I'm going to try and get in nice and close for you guys. Can you see it? Oh no! Oh, of course. Can I? Thank you! <laughs> so this is the beach ball halter that you can get from the store for token. Oh, oh, come back, come back! There we go. Oh my gosh! Isn't that cute? Oh, it's adorable. So this is from the Larry, the event shop. There is a second halter as well. So this is the watermelon halter. Oh my gosh, hang on. We've got to get close. See the watermelon slices? Oh, sorry. <laughs> oh my gosh. Super duper adorable. Now that is not everything. You can also get from the accessory store on mainland even more tack. There is two new types of tack and accessories you can get. So two new textures of accessories which we shall have a look at. They are very, very cute. So if you liked those halters, oh, it went to night time, you are going to love these accessories. So these are just some of the accessories you can get in the watermelon slice pattern. Oh my goodness. I'm not sure if this one or the other one is my favorite, to be honest. Oh, it could be the other one, but isn't this adorable? Oh my gosh. So you can purchase these for normal coins at the accessory store. And this is the beach ball pattern. Oh, it is super cute. Bit of a closer look. 
Oh, I love the saddle pads. So the pa saddle pads do come in Western and in the English. You've got crowns, you've got ribbons for their mane and tail. you even got the little booties. Oh, they're absolutely adorable. So definitely keep on checking the accessories store to find these. Oh, because they are totally worth it. They're absolutely adorable. Alrighty, let me show you guys how I found is a very fast way to collect summer tokens. So you do need summer tokens to get a lot of items in this event. And to get them, you need to do things that give you experience points. So catching horses, mining, quests, stuff like that. But this is the way that I have finally figured out. You guys actually let me know about this in the previous event and I completely forgot about it. So what we're going to do this today, I did do an experiment. Uh, just to test it and it does work very well. So I'm on Forest Island which some of you may know is my favorite place to go treasure hunting. So what I've been doing lately is running around finding treasure. So let's see if we can pick one up. Here we go. Do, 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 do. If you would like instructions on how to get the treasure finding shovel, which is this item here, and how to use it, go watch my video called How to Get Free Tack on Wild Horse Islands. So I will link that in the description box as well. That explains it all. All right, we're going to find this treasure. Oh, I think it's up here. It is. All right, I'm going to pick this up. You guys watch to see how many summer tokens I get. 26. So I spent 15 minutes running around finding a treasure just to see how many summer tokens I would get because it ranges from between about 16 to 30 was the most summer tokens I got from it. So in 15 minutes of just treasure hunting, nothing else, I got 678 summer tokens just from treasure hunting. So it is an awesome, awesome way to build up your summer tokens fast. And another way... Oh, perfect. Good timing. So you see Beach Sunrise, there's a little icon here needs to be taken care of so we're going to go in equipment grab the brush and take care of our horse and that gave me 34 summer tokens so if you combine treasure hunting with caring for your horse you will get summer tokens really quickly now for the moment you guys have most likely been waiting for is seeing the three limited time event horses. Now these horses can be caught in the wild. You can also find them on sale in the horse stalls, so where they're selling horses on islands. You can find them for summer tokens as well. And, of course, they do come up for Robux. So, just a reminder, as always, there are no Robux-only horses in Wild Horse Islands. You can get them with tokens or in the wild as well. But this is our first event horse. This is the Clownfish Mustang. He is super bright. And I'm guessing there is going to be a lot of them called Nemo for sure. Oh my gosh. So they have the pattern of the clownfish, uh, which, you know, in Finding Nemo, super duper bright and very, very cute. Then we have the beachy 
and illusion. Oh my gosh. Now, this one does have the beachy fade mane and tail naturally. So you can see the blue that fades into a sandy color. You can catch these horses either with this special dye already on them or with a common dye. Oh my gosh, look at the coral and the starfish. Oh, these guys are super cute. Such a lovely color as well. I love the color of their coats. And the third limited time event horse is the Tidal Wave Frisian. And oh my gosh, look at that detailing. Isn't that gorgeous? Oh, I love, 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 love this horse. Now, this one right here does have the Ocean Sea Foam Fade, which if you remember is a Robux dye. This was on this horse naturally. So the Free is also a horse that you can get either in a common mane and tail or with this special mane and tail and it suits so perfectly. I absolutely love these horses, especially the white on the face as well. These guys are absolutely stunning. Alrighty guys, so that is a lot of awesome, awesome items all in the brand new summer update on Wild Horse Islands. If you haven't played this game before, I do have a link to it in the description box. Definitely check it out. It is like the number one horse game on Roblox. Hands down. Easily, easily the best one. It is absolutely amazing and I highly, highly recommend that you do check it out. But I shall leave this video here. I hope it was helpful. And I shall leave you guys with a little bit of a dance party.